This is code.org. Let's see. Looks like gravity. The rock is thrown in the air, but it never falls back. Goodbye, rock. Do this. Use the code you've practiced to make the rock throw, slow down, and then fall. Try different numbers in the counter pattern to see what you like best. All right, so the counter pattern is what we have been doing. Hopefully, we are pros. You update the sprite here, so that's where we'll update the counter pattern. Now, if it's going up, what is up? Is that X or is that Y? Well, up or down is, and we can even see it on my mouse here. If I'm just going straight up, what's really changing? Y. So let me grab a sprite.y and drop it here. We don't have sprite. We have a variable named rock. Rock.velocity y is going to be equal to, well, let's think about this. I'm going to show the grid. Way down here is 0x 400y. Way up here is 0x 0y. So that being said, when our rock, oh, I, it's not going to work right now, but when our rock starts down here, it's 400y. When it's up here, it's 0y. Okay, so let's look at its velocity. When we start the program, the rock has a negative 10 velocity. And that makes sense. If it's 400 down here and zero up there, we are taking away from Y each time the draw loop runs. It runs 30 times a second. Each time it runs, we take away from Y. We wipe the screen with the blue sky. We take some from Y and it looks like the rock is moving. Now, if we want it to slow down and fall back, right, as gravity has an impact, we're going to say, okay, rock, you're going to equal your original velocity y value. How do you slow something down? Right now, we are going towards zero. If we want it to slow down and fall backwards, what do we have to do to go down in this? Watch y. Y is going up, so we would have to add. So rock.velocity y is going to equal rock.velocity y plus I have no idea if it's negative 10 we could try one that's probably too fast maybe I'll do 0 0.5 I'm not sure keep in mind what's happening though each time the draw loop runs it runs 30 times a second the computer says okay the rocks velocity's y value is equal to I, I have a new value for velocity y it's going to be the old value oh what's the old value negative 10 plus 0 0.5 so now its new value is 9.5 we then draw the sprite we then loop back around 30 times a second. We blank out the screen sky blue. So we never see a blank blue screen because this all runs so fast. But then it says, okay, there's a new velocity y value. What is it? Well, it's equal to the old velocity y value plus 0 0.5. Well, I just said that would be negative 9.5. So negative 9.5 plus 0 0.5 is 9. Now we draw the sprite up with a 9 right going back negative nine so it would move forward negative nine then we loop back around we blank out the sky we say old value which was nine negative nine plus five is negative 8.5 new velocity is negative 8.5 we draw the sprite up negative 8.5 and you can see how slowly it is slowing down okay so that was too uh dramatic i think so maybe what if we do point one Oh, does it go off? I'm feeling like I don't want it to go off. So maybe point two. Ooh, I'm kind of liking that. Now keep in mind, this draw background, this background blue sky, if I get rid of that, I'm no longer blanking out the screen each time. So you want this at the top of the draw loop because that will blank out the screen. We never see a blank screen because it all runs so fast that it just blanks out the screen, redraw, moves the rock, redraws it, blanks, redraws it, so on and so forth. Pretty cool. Onward.